Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do these problems, this couple of problems where you have to replace the loading acting on this beam by a resultant force and specify where the four acts measure from point A for the first part and for from B on the second part. So first you need to understand that each force has two components, a Y component and an X component for this one and a Y component and an X component for this one. Then you need to understand that the moment is only caused by the forces acting on the Y. Therefore, the sum of the moment, sum of the forces, sorry, in the Y, assuming up is positive, is equal to minus 450 sine of 60 degrees for the first one, which is this Y component right here, minus 300 for the Y component of this force, which is only has a Y component, minus 700 cosine of 30 degrees for the Y component on the third one. So the sum of the forces on the Y is equal to minus 1295.93 Newtons. Now you know that the sum of the moments about A, let me make sure, assuming counterclockwise is positive, is equal to the moment by this Y component, which is 2 meters times 450 sine of 60. And that is negative because it's twisting the beam this way. The second one is minus 6 times 300 is negative because it's twisting the beam this way. And the last one is minus 9 times 700 cosine of 30, which is also going counterclockwise. But there's also a moment here that you have to add, which is also going clockwise, so it's negative 1500. So when you add all of these together, you get minus 9535.38 Newton meters for the sum of the moments that A, assuming counterclockwise, is positive. So if you wanted to find the distance D, my, my. So if you wanted to find the distance D, you would get the sum of the moments at A over the sum or the forces, which is equal to 7.358 meters. Which is somewhere around here. Now, for the second part, There we go. For the second part, remember that we already found that the sum of the forces at Y is equal to minus 1295.93 Newtons. With this information, you know that the sum of the moments at B, assuming counterclockwise is positive, is equal to we're right here. 4 times 450, oops, 450 sine of 60, which is this force right here, times the sum right here, minus 3 times 700 cosine of 30, which is this lever arm right here, times this y component. And this force right here is not generating any moment because it's acting right on the point. And don't forget to add this couple moment being applied to the whole beam 
of minus 1500. So when you plug this all in, it gives you 1759.81. This is in Newton meters. Some of the moments are P, assuming counterclockwise is positive. Since the moment is negative, you know that it's trying to twist the arm this way. Therefore, the point D is to the right of P, and it is 1759.81 newton meters over 1295.93 newton meters. And you're going to get that D is equal to 1.358 meters. I'm sorry, this is not newton meters, it's just newtons, and you know that the newtons cancel out and you get meters. So 1.358, which is somewhere around here for the force being applied to. So final answer for the second part. And final answer for the first part.